everyone, welcome to Building Your Future Orientation. In this video, you will learn a lot in terms on how you will save your uh, future by becoming financially secured, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. So also the same seminar we have attended four years ago, and we it truly gave us huge impact and changed our financial views. And of course, we have learned to value our finances and of course to build our solid financial foundation. So the same thing, uh, same opportunity that I want to share with you and uh, it will uh, really give a huge help to all of you who are watching right now, how you are going to build your solid financial foundation. So basically what we will discuss here is from this book, The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. Okay, sabe? Financial education is not just for the wealthy, but of course it is for everyone. I hope everyone will agree to that. So let me just give you a short introduction about myself. My name is Christopher Salvador. I'm a senior marketing director here in International Marketing Group. I'm a, li a licensed associate financial planner, four years as a financial educator and coach, entrepreneur and investor. Okay, so later on you'll find out how Coach Chris become entrepreneur and investor here in IMG, so I'm excited to share it with you. So who we are? IMG or uh, stands for International Marketing Group. It is an affiliated organization of World Financial Group. Uh, it is also established in March 7, 2002. And IMG is one of the biggest and fastest growing financial services companies in the Philippines today. So what we normally do is we assist people who want to help themselves achieve financial security. Of course, uh, hindi lang naman tayo basa-basa nag, uh, nag aim to become financially secure in the future. So, how we are going to do that? Through financial education and building a proper financial foundation. So, it means to say, it's not just education, but of course, we have to execute what we are learning. So, this is something that we can help, you know, here in IMG. We have established partnership with the biggest companies in the financial industry so it means to say once you are ready to execute all the learnings that you are getting from IMG so we we already provided to you those companies that can help you in terms of financial products or financial industry okay so let's talk about the global campaign for financial education what it says here we are determined to provide 30 million people throughout the world a financial education that empowers them to have a better financial future because we believe that knowledge is power. Always remember that in everything we do, even the work kung nasan tayo ngayon nagtatrabaho, or whatever things that you are doing, it requires knowledge. no? So it's the same thing in building our solid financial foundation. It requires knowledge para mas mabuo mo siya at maitayo mo siya ng matibay at ng tama. Okay, so you can see from here, no? sabi rito, 30M by 30. So what does it mean? We need to or we have to reach out 30 million people or families, no? Filipino families, to become financially educated by the year 2030. So that's our noble campaign. Okay, so we also have our mission. What is that mission? To help create wealth for families that no family will be left behind. So it is just good for us to really uh, build our solid financial foundation and of course, uh, ayusin yung ating finances. Pero syempre, as we fix, no, as we build our solid financial foundation, dapat ganun din ang family natin para hindi sila naiiwan. Of course, we, we have our belief that many people today are financially struggling due to what? Lack of financial information. May sweldo naman, nagtatrabaho naman, maganda naman ang trabaho, mataas naman ang position, pero bakit kaya they struggle about their finances? So, sabi rito ng ating president na si Sir Jose Enrique de las Peñas, no? the rich gets richer, it's good, but the average person also has the right to be wealthy. Tama? Pero ano ba ang sikreto nila? why they are becoming richer and richer. Sabi po niya, And I know that with the right information, he will have the same opportunity as the wealthy people. So ano pa wala yung kulang? So the right information. So congratulations because, because you are watching right now with me and you will get that right information in order for you to become wealthy as well. 
Wow, excited, no? Excited na kayo. So, reality number one, when it comes to securing and saving their future, sabi, many good people fail. Okay? Mabait naman. Pero bakit kaya nag-fail sa finances? Hardworking people. Kaliwat ka na ng trabaho. Right? Pero they fail. Many smart people. No? Consistent honor student during uh, their college or school days. Pero bakit kaya ganun? Nag-fail pa rin sila sa finances. Or even the young people at early age, no? Nagbaon na sa utang. And even the old people they also fail in terms of their finances. Many teachers, engineers, and doctors, they fail. If not all, I've known a lot of uh, teachers, engineers, and doctors who are still failing in terms of their finances. Nakakalungkot yan, but it's true. Many end up retiring without enough savings. So, sabi rito, these people don't set out to fail. Wala naman may gusto sa atin ang mag-fail, di ba? They do because they they fail to plan and manage their personal finances. That is the problem. And of course they lack financial education. Hindi naman po kasi tinuturo ang financial education sa ating school or even sa mga companies na pinagtatrabahuhan natin. But of course, uh, it is a self effort that you really need to educate yourself in terms of financial literacy. Number 2 reality Many people believe that financial education is only for the wealthy, as I've said earlier. And many think that the only solution to financial challenges is to borrow money. Once nagkaroon ng struggle sa finances, ano nang ginagawa? Nagahanap ng tao na mauutangan. Diba? O kaya naman tatakbo sa mga banko para mag-loan. They don't even realize na mas lalo sila mababaon na mababaon sa, sa utang at lalo sila magkakaroon ng struggles pagdating sa kanilang finances. There are so many ways in order for us to overcome this kind of situation and struggles. No? Later on, you'll find out kung ano nga ba yung mga yan. Number three, na reality. Yan. Many overseas Filipino workers or OFW work hard for 20 to 30 years and still end up retiring poor. Okay? Nakakalungkot, di ba? For how many years that they've been away from their families, they sacrifice the, uh, their presence, no? Sa mga, sa family nila, sa anak nila. Pero pagdating ng panahon, for how many years uh, they, they are working abroad, pag uwi, bakit ganun? Hindi pa rin nila napaghandaan yung retirement nila. Okay, nakakalungkot man isipin, pero marami po tayo mga kakilala dyan na uh, OFWs na umuwi na hindi talaga sila handa pagdating sa kanilang finances. Right? Let's move to chapter number one, knowing the basic financial concepts. Ano ba yun? Financial independence is not only a dream, but it is a priority that every person should aim for. Take control of your future by learning how, of course, to make money. No, Filipino can easily make money for, alam naman natin na masipag talaga ang mga Pilipino, kaya we can just easily make money. But of course, we have to save money as well. As we save, dapat it is also growing. Once it grows, dapat protektado mo rin para hindi naman masayang. Sino ang pwedeng gumawa niyan? Of course, no one else but only you. Right? So, building blocks of a strong financial foundation. Okay, napaka-importante po na malaman natin dito uh, kung paano natin binubuo yung tinatawag na uh, strong financial foundation. So, para po yung hagdanan. Of course, you have to take the first step bago ka makapunta doon sa pinaka-tuktok or pinaka-taas na steps. You have to do it step by step. Okay? I hope that's clear. What's the first one? You must have proper healthcare coverage in the event of a serious health problem or sickness. So, healthcare fund is very important. Okay? Kasi bakit? It will uh, greatly affect or upset a person's financial stability, lalo na kung wala ka pong uh, fund pagdating sa healthcare mo. Kung magkaroon ka ng healthcare crisis, saan ka kukuha ng fund? Diba? Hindi naman natin inaasahan, hindi naman natin gusto magkasakit, pero if in case that we get sick, dapat meron po tayong healthcare na magpo-provide para sa atin. Okay? 
Number two, life insurance. Okay? Of course, you must have proper protection in the event naman ng mga premature death na tinatawag natin. Siyempre, hindi naman natin hawak ang buhay natin but it also happens that uh, marami tayong kakilala na uh, by surprise, nawala na lang sila, di ba? But if we really love our family, no, it is our responsibilities and it's also our obligation if we really love them, dapat protektado natin sila. Dapat meron kang life insurance. It is something that you can just leave to them in in times na wala ka na. Diba? Mahirap naman na nawalan na nga sila ng family member, nawalan na nga sila ng breadwinner. Okay, masakit yun, mawalan ng family member. Pero kung iiwanan pa rin natin sila ng napakaraming utang and they will struggle about their finances, mas mahirap naman. Kawawa naman sila. If we really love our family, dapat hindi lang natin sila protektado while we are living with them. Okay? But of course, even the time that you are not with them, dapat alam mo na they are still protected. Okay? So I hope that is clear. And of course, number three is the eliminate death. Okay? Why do we need to eliminate our death? No? Dapat uh, alam natin na uh, in the time na nag-iipon tayo, na alam natin na kumikita yung pera natin, dapat wala tayong utang. Kasi bakit? Baka mamaya niya mas mataas pa pala yung tinutubo ng utang mo compared dun sa nakukuha mo dun sa investment mo. Kaya napaka-importante na mawala yan sa atin. So in IMG, we are also teaching you and guiding you how you are going to eliminate your debt. Next is the emergency fund. Why is it very important for us to have emergency fund? Most especially this pandemic period, right? We don't even expect na magkakaroon tayo ng pandemic and even na tatagal na siya ng ganito, more than a year na siya. Okay? So what's the use of emergency fund, right? Sa panahon ngayon, maraming no work, no pay. Maraming nawalan ng trabaho or even salary reduction. So ang question there is, masusustain pa rin ba yung mga pangangailangan kung dumating itong klaseng pandemic na to? Or we will be forced to uh, to get that financial support from our government. Hindi naman po habang buhay, susuportahan tayo ng gobyerno, right? And of course, we cannot even go to our families or our friends kapag nangailangan tayo. Kasi bakit? May mga pangangailangan din sila ngayon. So this is the importance of having emergency fund. Dapat meron po tayo niyan, okay? What's the next one is the investment. Okay, so that's the time lang na gagawin natin yung ating investment. Huwag po tayo masyadong excited to have investment. We have to take consideration of these underlying components in order for us to really protect our investment. Okay, I'll, I'll just give you an example. No, Kung ikaw ay may investment pero wala ka namang healthcare fund, in the event na nagkasakit ka, what will happen? Of course, you have to spend or you have to get your in- investment pangka uh, gagamitin mo sa pangkamot mo. So what will happen? Maubos yung investment mo. E paano kung nagkasakit ka at the age of 55 na? Somehow wala ka ng work or medyo mahina na, retired na, di ba? You think uh, kailangan mo pa ulit magtrabaho para pag-ipunan ulit yung investment na yan na nagasos mo? It's just because of that sickness na nagkaroon ka. So that's the important. If we want to protect our investment, we should have health care. Okay, so sabi rito, like building a house, you must build it from the ground up. Diba? Kung baga, sa pagtatayo ng bahay, hindi na una ang bubong. It always start with the foundation. So the same thing po sa ating sa finances. Okay? You should consider your health care and protection as a priority. Bakit nga ba? Sabi nito, even if you save a few hundred pesos a month but have no healthcare and life insurance, it will not take you far. When you get sick, disabled, or die suddenly, of course, your savings won't last very long. Kaya napaka-importante po na meron tayong life insurance and of course, we should have our healthcare fund as well. Because getting long-term healthcare and life insurance are The best investment. Take note po ah, investment po yan. That is not an expense. Okay, so this time, sabi rito, a strong foundation will result to you 
having sturdier finances that can withstand any money-related storms and earthquakes. So we have to follow these five building blocks in order for us to, to build and secure our financial future. Okay, so this time we will talk about the strategies of the wealthy. Okay, ano nga ba strategies nito mga mayayaman na to? Okay, so there are two uh, scenarios here or uh, two kinds of mindset here. The aver, uh, let's say the average or the poor mindset or the wealthy mindset. San kaya tayo magpo-fold dyan? So let's find out. So sabi, sabi rito yung mga average mindset daw or the poor mindset, most people spend money and save what is left. Diba? Misan hindi pa nare-receive yung sweldo, nagasus na. Kasi they know where they're going to spend their money. At saka lang nila isipin yung savings. Ang tanong, meron pa bang natitira? Wealthy people save money and spend what is left. So, ibig sabihin, if you are a wealthy mindset, you always think about saving first bago ka mag-spend. Wow. Most people consider healthcare and insurance as an expense. Yan. Takot na takot tayo magkaroon ng healthcare at takot na takot na magkuha ng insurance because we always think that it is an expense. But if you are in the uh, wealthy mindset, you consider healthcare and insurance as your investment. So most people work hard for money. And that's true, no? Kaliwat ka na ng trabaho, ang sideline, di ba? Hirap na hirap ka na mag-work. Pero sabi rito, ang wealthy people, they let money work for them. So gusto ba natin yan? Kung ako tatanungin, of course, I would like to do to have that kind of uh, life na money is working for me in the future, right? Kaya nga nandito ako ngayon, I'm teaching you. And at the same time, uh, I'm doing it, no? Siyempre, para pagdating ng panahon, I will let money work for me as well. So the difference between the wealthy and most people is the way they think about planning their future. So planning is very important. Let's not just dwell on the present, but of course, prepare for our future. So I'll share to you these X-curve concepts, okay, na sinishare natin dito sa IMG. Uh, if you can see from here, no, ano nga ba yung X-curve concept na yan? There are two arrows that goes opposite directions. The green arrow here na pataas at makikita niyo po yung red na pababa naman siya. Ano po bang ibig sabihin niya? Napakasimple lang yan. During your younger age, no, syempre wala ka pa masyadong ipon, kaya start mo pala magtrabaho, definitely you don't have enough savings. Or wala pang savings sabihin na natin. But definitely, napakataas ng ating responsibilities. It's because ang dami pong binabayaran, marami kang sinosoportahan at tinutulungan. Pero of course, even ganyan yung sitwasyon natin, let's not forget na umpisahan na mag-ipon. Kasi the minute na nag-iipon ka po, as you can see from here, no, pataas, law of building wealth, ang sabi dyan, okay? The minute na nag-save ka, okay, tumataas yung wealth mo. And every time you save your money, In every peso you save, your responsibilities will decrease. Kagaya niyan yung red pababa, di ba? This is what we call the law of decreasing responsibilities. So kapag nag-start ka mag-save during your younger years at tumanda ka, okay? Definitely you will have big savings and zero responsibilities. It means to say, you let money work for you. Di ba? Siyempre kahit hindi ka na nagtatrabaho dahil malaki yung savings mo, ginagamit mo yung pera na yan para magtrabaho para sa iyo. Okay? So, sa buhay natin, no, if you can see the word life, in between there are two ifs na pwedeng mangyari. First, what if you die too soon? Okay, hindi natin sinabi na mawala, kagad. Pero of course, if happen, dapat ang solution is insurance. Na dapat magagamit mo kapag wala ka na, patuloy pa rin ang buhay ng pamilya mo. Number two, what if you live too long? It's a good news, right? It's a blessing for us to have long life. Pero ang tanong, eh kung hindi mo napagandaan, masaya pa rin ba? Ready ka ba? ba? Diba? Dapat, kung nabigyan tayo at nabiyayaan ng mahabang buhay, we have to remember that we have to be prepared in terms of our, of our investment na pwede nating magagamit sa pang-araw-araw nating pangangailangan and long-term health care in the event na baka magkasakit ka during your older years. Diba? Minsan, dumadating ang sakit pag medyo tumatanda na, diba? 
So napaka-importante na ba na dapat meron tayong dalawa na yan. Okay? So I hope that is clear. Chapter number two, choosing the right health care. So yan, I keep talking about health care. Pero syempre, kung kukuha tayo ng isang health care, dapat tama. Okay? In the Philippines, a lot of sick people die not because there is no medicine or treatment available, but because they don't have money to pay for the cost. Diba? Yun ang mahirap dito eh, no? Yung bang nagkasakit ka, hindi ka makapasok ng hospital, it's because they are asking you to have the deposit. O kaya naman, you know, already na pagpasok mo doon, di ba? Papatak ng papatak yung charges mo. You don't even know kung paano mo babayaran. Kaya ang gagawin mo, you just stay at home. Di ba? At mag-ano, uh, mag-self-medication kung ano yung pwedeng gawin. But of course, kung kinakailangan talaga ng uh, proper uh, medication dyan, nakakailanganin natin ng mga doctors and, and the hospital in order for us to get healed from that sicknesses, dapat meron tayong pera. Paano kung wala, di ba? Ano pwede mangyari sa atin? Kagaya niyan, kung magkasakit ka man, still, you can go to the charity. Okay, sa mga government hospitals. But the situation is like this. Right? Siksikan, sama-sama. And I don't think nagagaling tayo kagad. Kung kaya mo naman, no? kung napaghandaan mo, tumanda ka, nagkasakit, if ever, you have payward or executive. Siyempre sa executive ako, mas gusto ko yan, di ba? Mas komportable. Mas gagaling ka agad. Comparing to this charity war, definitely hindi ka basta-basta gagaling. And I don't think na maatinan ka kagad ng mga doctors and nurses dyan. It's simply because ang dami-dami nyo, di ba? So the final test of a good health care. Ano nga ba yan? If you really want to have a health care, ano ba yung kailangan mo malaman? Una sa lahat, dapat merong ganito. Does it have both short-term and long-term health care? na pwede mong gamitin at the present and you can also use it during your older years. Does it have guaranteed renewal na kapag nagamit mo, mataas ang utilization mo? Guaranteed ba na iririnyo ng company yan? Or medyo nagamit mo this year? Baka pwedeng taasan ng company pagdating ng susunod na taon. Right? Does it have guaranteed savings and investment na bayad ka ng bayad? At the end of the day, at least alam mo na makukuha mo pa rin yung pera mo. May savings siya at naka-invest. Does it have life insurance or protection? Eh, paano na yan, di ba? Hindi lang basta-basta pala long uh, healthcare ang meron. Dapat meron din pala life insurance. Ang question, meron bang ganyan? Yes, meron. And then later on, you'll find out kung ano nga ba yan. Chapter number three, understanding the purpose of insurance. Yan, ito na tayo. No? Pagdating sa insurance, medyo allergic yung iba. But sabi, insurance is for, uh, for protection should anything happen to you. While insurance is not a fun topic, it is a critical part of your financial strategies. Okay, sabi, most people have good protection sa kanilang mga bahay, sa kanilang sasakyan, but few have enough for their loved ones. Sino ba mas mahalaga? Yung loved ones or yung car or yung home? Di ba? Hindi pwedeng si car lang tsaka si house ang insured. If you really love your family more than this car and home, dapat protektado mo rin sila. Right? In, kapag meron kang sasakyan, automatically it is mandatory for you to have insurance. Wala kang magagawa. ba? Diba? Gagawin at gagawin mo yan. Pero take note po, no? dapat i-mandatory din po natin ang sarili natin to have insurance para protektado natin yung family. Ang car, pwedeng mawala yan. Diba? Pwedeng mahila, lalo na kung hindi pa bayad. Or even the house, kung hindi pa yan bayad, pwedeng mahila. Okay? Pero ang family natin, pag nawala tayo, are they protected? Patuloy pa rin ba ang buhay nila? Makakapag-aral pa rin ba ang mga anak? Kakain pa rin ba? So if we really love them, we should not uh, just think uh, na habang nandyan pa tayo sa kanila. Let's also think when we are already not with them, right? Chapter number four, managing debts effectively. So, why should we manage our debts? Sabi rito, because it turned into a disease. It could control your life, diminish your happiness, and limit your freedom. 
that's very true. Kapag meron po tayong utang at maraming utang na hindi mabayad-bayaran, nawawala yung happiness kasi you keep on thinking how you are going to pay those, right? Or even limit your freedom, you cannot even go out or even post in your social media. Somehow you are also hiding and changing your names, 'di ba? If not all, but there are so many there are some people who are doing that. No, they change their names in their Facebook or social media because uh, they are trying to avoid someone na pinagkakautangan. You, you can never be truly free until you are debt free. Napakasarap po ng feeling na wala tayong iniisip na utang at the end of the month. Okay, na dapat natin bayaran at hindi mabayad-bayaran. Okay, so this time I'm going to give you some tips how you are going to manage your debt. Control your debt, otherwise... That will control you. Pay off your credit cards that's in full and on time. So, it's very simple, no? Kapag hindi natin nabayaran ng tama at ng buo, automatically, yung charges niya, okay? Tumataas ng tumataas. The interest. Use cash or debit cards, no? May psychological effect po yan, no? Na at least kung visible na nakikita natin yung pera natin na yun lang yan, yun lang yung gagasusin natin. We will not spend beyond that kasi alam natin na wala na. Okay, unlike doon sa credit card, swipe ka lang ng swipe. You don't even notice na na-max out na pala siya. Make a list of all your debts and pay them off one at a time. Consider liquidating your savings and non-income producing assets. Repay your mortgage, increase your cash flow. So that's very important. No? Later on, you'll find out how you're going to increase your cash flow. Chapter number 5, Building an Emergency fa- uh, Fund. Okay, bakit nga ba kailangan natin yan? Are you prepared for these emergencies? Ayan, nawala ng trabaho, nawala ng income. Ready ba po tayo dyan? Okay? So, saan po tayo tatakbo kapag hindi tayo ready dun sa financial support ng ating government? Kapag hindi nabigay, magagalit tayo. ba? Diba? So, dapat po pinaghahandaan natin yan kasi we know na there will come a time na may mga emergencies na pwedeng mangyari. Okay? Hospitalize for extended time. Okay? O kaya naman, tragic death or catastrophes, no? Typhoon, flood, earthquake, etc. Ang daming dumarating ngayon sa, sa mundo na mga catastrophes. No matter how much you plan in life, the unexpected things still happen. So all you have to do is to save 3 to 6 months equivalent of your total expenses or your total salary. Para mawalan ka man ng trabaho for 3 months or to 6 years, alam mo na masusustain mo pa rin yung mga pangangailangan mo. Right? Hindi ka mahihirapan kung sa nahanap ka ng uh, panggastos mo. Chapter number 6, saving the right way. Okay, so as we make money, sabi kanina, di ba, we can make money easily. But of course, we should know also how we are going to save our money. Pero hindi lang tayo basa-basa nagsisave, guys, ha? Dapat the right way. Okay, so ituturo ko sa inyo yan. Paano yan? Basahin po natin. I've been working hard all my life but I wasn't able to save anything. Where did my money go? So natanong niyo po ba yan sa inyong mga wallet? Na-experience niyo na ba magkaroon ng ano, invisible salary? <laughs> yung bang hindi mo pa nare-receive yung salary mo eh, hindi pa dumadapo sa pitaka mo eh, nawala na, na parang bula. Okay, kasi na-capture na ng bank sa laki ng utang. Okay, saka hindi na nakapasok. Invisible na siya sa wallet mo. Mahirap yan. Okay, so sabi rito, wrong saving formula. So that's the problem. That's the reason why, no? Bakit hindi natin na, bakit uh, hindi tayo nakakatanggap ng salary? <laughs> bakit nawawala yung salary natin? Kasi ang nangyari ganyan. Once we receive our income, automatically expenses ang nasa isip. Ilis kagada yung expenses. Tsaka lang natin isipin yung savings no pagka receive ng salary we we uh, we pay the utilities the phone bills no okay lang yan kasi necessities yan kailangan natin talagang gawin yan pero ang tanong gadgets designer clothes nightlife coffee shop yan pa multi multi pa tayo pasyal lang malls no lalo na delikado pa naman ngayon dine out hindi na lang magluto sa bahay these are the things na kahit hindi mo gawin ay mabubuhay at mabubuhay ka Take note po, okay? So, it's better for us to just keep our money to something that is useful kesa sa mga bagay na to. Lalo na sa panahon na yun, hindi na importante yan. So, sabi rito, okay, yan, job. No? Kubang-kubang ko ba sa takatatrabaho? 
pero walang naiipon. Ang hirap niyan, di ba? So, sabi ng job, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Okay, I'll give you a meaning of that. Journey of the broke. O, diba? Trabaho ka ng trabaho, pero pagdating ng panahon, wala pa rin palang naipon. Still broke. Okay, so sabi rito, pay yourself first. No? From wrong saving formula, we have to go to the correct saving formula. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin yan? So once you receive your income, ilas mo daw kagad yung, yung savings. Tsaka mo lang isipin yung para sa expenses and your lifestyle. So I'll give you an example here. Okay, so better saving formula. Aside from having a good saving formula, meron po tayong tinatawag na better saving formula or we call it here in IMG, the prosperity formula. So once you receive your income, the 100%, automatically you less your tithes. Okay, the 10% tithes. Remember na whatever we have right now, no? Alam natin na hindi yan galing sa atin. Right? Even we do all our effort, but we know that it is not coming... Uh, from us, it's not uh, our own uh, strength kung bakit meron tayo ng mga blessings niya. No? Regardless of your religion, your belief, no? we know that everything we have, it is owned by God. Okay? So, it's, it is just right for us to give what is due to Him. Okay? Then, of course, yung 20%, ibigay naman natin sa sarili natin. And that is our savings. Pay yourself, right? Yung 70% na natira, okay, just keep, uh, just use it for your expenses and lifestyle. Kung medyo sobra pa yan, then add it to your tithes and savings. Right? So, how are you doing so far? Like, for example, you are watching uh, with me right now. You've been working for 10 years already. And uh, receiving like about uh, an average annual income of 300,000 pesos. So it means to say you have earned about 3 million. My question there is, magkano ang savings out of 3 million? Oh, diba? Pwedeng napangiti ka ngayon. Pwedeng napaisip ka, o oh, ano, nasa nga pala yun? May natabi ba ako? Diba? Sana kung meron, that's good. It's not what we earn that counts, it's what we keep. Maliit ang sweldo mo ngayon pero nag-iipon ka. Pagdating ng panahon, for sure maganda ang future. Maginhawa. Malaki nga ang sweldo mo ngayon pero panay naman ang gasos mo. You don't even think about your future. Feeling mo, sabi mo, YOLO. You only live once. Tama naman po. Pero take note po, no? Paano kung ang haba yung, yung uh, live once mo na yan ay eh, inabot ka ng pagtanda mo? Ang tanong, Kung hindi ka naghanda at hindi ka nag-ipon, maging masaya ka pa rin ba? Maging maayos pa rin ba ang buhay mo? Diba? So dapat no, pag-isipan natin, paghandaan po natin yan, ang ating retirement period, ang ating pagtanda. So as we save money, we also need to understand how money works para hindi lang tayo save ng save, save ng save. No? Dapat naintindihan natin kung paano nag-work ang pera. So I'll just give you an example here. The formula that we are using here in IMG, the rule of 72, it is formulated by Albert, uh, Sir Albert Einstein. Ano bang ibig sabihin niya? 72 is a constant number. I-divide daw natin sa interest rate kung saan natin inilalagay yung pera natin or sinisave yung pera natin. And from there, it will determine the number of years for your money to double. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Rule of 72. Okay, you, you open a savings account in the bank na 10,000 pesos. Okay, naisip mo kagad, ilagay sa banko. Magkano ba ang percentage na ibibigay sa iyo ng banko annually? Let's say 1%, right? Disclaimer po, no, hindi tayo gain sa bank. But what we are teaching to you right now is how money works. And we have to understand it. Okay. So, apply natin yung rule of 72. 72 is a constant number. Okay? I-divide out natin sa interest rate kung saan natin ilalagay yung pera natin. 72 divided by 1 is equals to 72. So, ibig sabihin, yung pera mo na 10,000 pesos will double after 72 years. Okay? Sa age mo ngayon, i-add mo yung 72. Ilan taon ka na nun? And your money will become 20,000 pesos. Masaya ba? Magagamit ba siya? So, pag-isipan natin mabuti. But I don't think 20,000 pesos would be enough sa pagtanda mo. But let's say, for example, they are giving you about 4%, no? 4% interest. Apply natin same rule. Rule of 72. 72 divided by 4 is equals to 18. Okay, so every 18 years, your money will double. 
At the age of 29, you put 100,000 pesos sa banko for about 4% interest rate every year. So, nagdodoble raw yung pera mo every 18 years kasi 72 divided by 4 is equals to 18, right? At the age of 29, may 100,000 pesos ka. Plus 18, 47 ka na, become 200,000 pesos. Plus 18, 65 ka na and it became 400,000 pesos. Masaya ba o hindi? I don't think na maging masaya tayo, no? lalo na 465 years old saan ka dadalhin ng 400,000 pesos na yan. Kulang na kulang yan, baka pang maintenance mo lang. My question there is, kapag naglagay ba tayo ng pera sa banko, uh, itatabi lang ba nila yan sa kanilang mga vault, sa kanilang mga drawers? Definitely no. What they will do? They will reinvest that money. Siyempre, hindi sa 4%. They will put it in 12% or even higher than 12%. So, ibig sabihin, if you give your money at the age of 29 for 100,000 pesos, apply natin yung rule of 72 na 72 divided by 12 na interest rate is equal to 6. Every 6 years pala, dumodoble yung pera mo. Yung 100,000 pesos mo after 6 years at the age of 29, naging 35 ka na, naging 200,000 pesos. At the age of uh, 41 plus 6 kasi, naging 400,000 pesos na. And so on. You become 65 years old, your money became what? 6.4 million. Since 4% lang ang ibibigay sa inibangko, sa'yo ang 400. Pero ang 6 million, kanina napunta? Sa bangko. Kasi sila naman yung nag-reinvest ano eh, nag, uh, ng pera mo. Right? If there's any way na gawin mo na lang yung ginagawa ni bangko, ni bangko will you do that? Siyempre ako, gagawin ko talaga yan. And that's what I'm doing right now. People who don't understand how money works, they end up working for money. People who understand how money works, they let money work for them. That's the importance of being knowledgeable in terms of financial education. So, as we save the right way, dapat it is also growing. Kaya nga sabi ko, dapat maintindihan natin how it works para nag-grow. It will grow through investment. So build long-term investment. No, Take note, the word long. Ibig sabihin, when we talk about investment, dapat long-term yan. Wala naman pong isang investment in an instant, milyonaryo ka na. Okay, pag sinabi ko sa'yo na, okay, you invest here, you save your money here, after three to six months, milyonaryo ka na. Then, i-close mo na po ang video na ito. Dahil ini-scam lang kita. Diba? Always remember, having an investment, it should always long term. Okay? So, paano nga ba yan? For example, no? Okay, yan. Ikaw, nag, meron kang amount, meron kang pera. Okay, you have like 100,000 pesos and you save in the bank. Magkano ibibigay sa'yo, diba? Let's say, sabihin na natin 1%. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung pera natin, kagaya na sinabi ko, pag nilagay natin sa banko, i-reinvest nila yan saan? Government securities, commercial papers, stocks and equities, retail loans, real estate. Okay? So, pag kumita si banko from this 12%, ikaw na, in, uh, na depositor or lender, okay? Dahil pinatago mo yung pera mo kay banko, eh, di ba? I-reinvest niya. Kumita siya ngayon ng 12%. Ang sabi ni Banko, sige, pag kumita yung pera natin, I'll give you 1%. So, napunta sa'yo ang 1%, napunta ang 11% kay Banko. Right? Sinong nalugi? Definitely ikaw. Okay. So, Coach Chris, pwede ba ako mag-invest kung saan sa 12% ko rin siya mailalagay? Kagaya ng ginagawa ni Banko. Yes, we have a way. Kaya nga sabi, education is very important kasi you are learning. So this time, instead of putting your money in the bank, I'm not saying na hindi kayo maglagay ng pera sa banko, di ba? You can use that bank for your emergency fund. Something that you can just easily pull out your money para sa mga emergencies, okay? Pero of course, meron din tayo yung tinatawag dito na mutual funds, okay? Ayan, bakit nga ba naging shareholder ito si ano, uh, si Coach Chris, naging entrepreneur, naging investor? It's simply because I invest my money here in mutual fund. And si mutual fund, where they put our money, no? Ayan, sa government securities, commercial papers, stocks and equities, no? Ayan yung mga companies kung saan nila ni, ni reinvest yung pera natin. 
may Jollibee, sa BDO, sa Meralco, sa PLDT, sa Ayala Land, di ba? Of course, kapag naglagay tayo ng pera natin sa mutual fund and once they put it in stocks and equities where they are buying shares from these companies, automatically you will become a shareholder, right? And you invest also from this company, you will you will be called as an investor. Diba? Regardless of the numbers of shares na meron ka, for as long as you have shares and you invested your money to these companies, of course, you are a shareholder and investor. So pag kumita si mutual fund ng 12%, you as an investor or shareholder, you will also have the same percentage, 12%. Diba? Instead of instead of putting your money in the bank kung saan kikita ka na lang ng 1%, bakit hindi mo gawin sa 12%? Ayan, no, may paraan naman pala. Right? So, I hope that is clear, no? Dapat talaga matuto po tayo kung saan natin nilalagay ng tama yung ating pinaghihirapang pera. So, do you know how mutual fund works? So, kung hindi po natin alam, okay, meron po tayo mga trainings dyan kung saan na pwede nating ituro thoroughly and uh, to have a deeper understanding and knowledge about mutual funds okay but i'll give you a uh, history na isang mutual fund kung saan uh, may isang individual who saved his money for about 5000 pesos dito sa phil equity okay so he put 5000 pesos during 1995 okay by that time ang per share po natin was 1 peso okay So he just kept his money or his 5,000 pesos there in mutual funds of Phil Equity. After that, hindi na siya nagdagdag, hindi na siya nagbawas. He just kept the money there. Dumating ang 2019, July 12, sabi niya, meron pala akong in-invest na pera dyan sa mutual funds sa Phil Equity ng 5,000 pesos. Pwede ko kayang i-check ngayon. During that time, noong 2019, July 12, okay, ang per share was 39.91 na. Okay? So it means to say, yung pera niya na from 5,000 pesos, it became 179,882 na. So kumita ba or hindi? Obviously, kumita yung pera, di ba? Ano yung effort na ginawa niya? Wala lang, naglagay lang naman siya sa mutual fund, di ba? Pero yung, pa, yung pera niya nag-grow. Eh, how much more kung naglagay pa siya consistently from 1995 up to 2019? For sure, mas malaki pa yung pera na meron siya dyan. Okay? So, chapter number 8, Understanding Retirement and Estate Planning. Yan, okay? So, dapat protektado rin natin yung pinaghirapan natin. Do you know without proper planning, your assets and family may not be protected? Who gets your home? Inherits all your bank accounts? Can you avoid family arguments over your belongings and keepsakes? or you have enough funds to pay for estate tax. Diba? So, dapat protektado natin. So, building a strong financial foundation. So, it's just a review. Sabi ko kanina, dapat meron tayong healthcare fund, life insurance, eliminate your debt, emergency fund, and investment. Pero meron pa isang mas importante. Increase your cash flow. Why? Para ma-sustain mo lahat yan. Diba? Kung negative ang cash flow mo, how can you have healthcare fund? How can you buy insurance? Paano mo mabayaran ang utang mo? Magkaroon ng emergency fund at mag-build ng investment kung kulang naman pala yung cash flow. So, dapat increase natin yan. Of course, IMG can help you to do that. Okay? So, who can help you build your solid financial foundation? Of course, IMG. Right? What we normally do here in IMG, we bypass the middleman. Okay? If you want to go to this company directly, you just have to member yourself here in IMG. Okay? So, if you become a member of IMG, they will we will give you access to financial companies. Means you don't need to go to the agent or to the bank. If you want to save your money, you can go directly and invest your money in the mutual fund. If you want to have healthcare fund, you don't need to go to the agent and find what uh, insurance or health care that suits to you because we already have here in IMG and go directly to that companies. And of course, instead of giving our uh, commissions no, and paying processing fee and everything, we also enjoy the discounts from every financial products we buy and become your own money manager as well. 
Okay, so aside from that, we also have our exclusive benefits being part of IMG. What are those? The financial education. Yan, meron tayong financial ebook, meron tayong financial e-workbook kung saan pwede po natin matutunan paano mag-increase ng cash flow, uh, i-manage yung ating uh, debt. Okay? Magkaroon, uh, mag-build natin yung wealth natin at ma-accumulate yung asset. Magkaroon ng uh, retirement planning and wealth preservation. Building a business in the financial industry. And of course, to have our financial checkup as well. Number nine, okay, exclusive members price. If you want to become an, uh, a certified, okay, associate financial planner. Okay. Next is, Okay, once you become a member, automatically you will have about 100,000 to 300,000 pesos na free personal accident insurance from Manila Bankers. Okay, next is number 11 benefit, 50,000 pesos worth of life insurance. Okay, from Fidelity po yan. Next is Vision Care, made it easy. No? Meron tayong libreng frame na dalawa every year. We just have to avail the lens. Of course, meron din po tayong uh, benefits 13, 14, and 15. Free and limited consultation for mem members sa Kaiser Medical Center. So we have Kaiser in every SM, branches, Robinsons, and even in Makati. If we want to have a discount for medical services, you as a member, meron po tayo sa Kaiser. And of course, they also extended it to our family members. And of course, as you become an IMG member, you will also become automatic mutual fund investor. We also have our healthcare products and services sa Kaiser. Benefit number 17, long-term care, short-term care, and senior care. So ano ba ibig sabihin yan? Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder. I'll just give you an example of a premium. That is the K100 plan. Okay, Ayan po ang ating ambassadress, si Ms. Sharon Cuneta Pangilinan. Okay, so ano po bang ibig sabihin niyang Kaiser na yan? Okay, I'll give an example of K100 plan. So, uh, sample lang po ito. Pwede mas mababa or pwede mas mataas. Depende po yan sa kakayanan at sa pangangailangan. Okay, so ano po bang ibig sabihin niyan? Ang Kaiser plan natin is K100 and how much is the contract price? 411750 So, the payment period is 7 years. Okay, so ibig sabihin niyo, I just have to save for 7 years. Ang maturity po niya is after 20 years. At the age of 30, no? Example natin. So, this is a perfect example for you. Kung ikaw ay 30 years old. So, what are the benefits that you will get? Una sa lahat, yung 100,000 pesos as a long-term care benefit. Meron din pong 450,000 pesos na insurance, term insurance, in the event na nawala yung policy holder or yung, uh, yung, ano, yung uh, may hawak or yung, yung may ari ng policy. Okay? 450,000 pesos that automatically will go to the beneficiaries kung natural death. If accidental death naman po, meron po 900,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin times 2. Meron din annual physical exam and dental benefit free for 7 years. Annual benefit limit na 60,000 pesos. Okay? Room and board benefit na 1,000 pesos a day. So, that is based on K100 plan po. Take note. So if you started at the age of 20 after uh, after 20 years oh I'm sorry uh, you started at the age of 30 okay so ibig sabihin after 20 years you become 50 your 411,000 pesos became 1.1 million so obviously kumita yung pera mo hindi na sayang panahon hindi na sayang yung pera mo okay so if you just keep your money there no automatically nag-accumulate siya ng na-accumulate. Okay? Kung hindi mo pa naman siya kailangan at the age of 50, you're still working. No? You keep your money there and once you become a six, become 60 years old, kunin mo na siya or uh, gamitin mo na siya. So, it became 3 million. Okay? So, become 4.8 million kung kinipong pa siya for another 5 years and after 30 years uh, again, naging 20.3 million na siya. Diba? Napakaganda niya, diba? So if you have that 20, uh, 20 million okay na uh, na amount na yan di ba So kung kukunin mo lang ang 10% niyan that would be about like 2 million So ibig sabihin you can get that money the 2 million every year na kumikita yung pera mo right na pwedeng mong gamitin sa 
uh, during your retirement. So this is what we call the uh, yung kanina sinasabi ko na ano na uh, money working for you. Okay? So ibig sabihin you don't need, you don't need to work but you know that the money is working for you. Okay? Next is Yan, meron po tayong tinatawag dito na payment options, no? Pwedeng spot cash, annual, semi-annual, quarterly, and monthly. So, what are the advantages kapag kumuha kayo ng spot cash? Definitely, you will get a huge discount. Or annual, instead of paying for 12 months, you just have to pay for 10 months, okay? Meron po tayong 500 pesos na uh, policy fee for 7 years po yan, every year. Okay? I hope that's clear. What's the next one is Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation. So, meron tayong most 18, most GRP, and even we have also IRA. Okay, or, or tinatawag natin Income Replacement Assurance. But let's talk about this most 18. Most 18 is the most affordable 18-year term insurance with PDF or Premium Deposit Fund. PDF offers a very competitive rate of return with zero negative and zero charges. PDF can be withdrawn anytime. Premium that will fall due may be deducted from PDF. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang po siya basta-basta insurance, but it also has a saving feature. Okay? Yan. Kung age 30 ka na, if you want to insure yourself for 1 million peso, uh, 1 million peso face amount, how much do you need to pay? 5,710 pesos every year at the age of 30. Okay? Napakababa, di ba? So, this is one of the best benefit that we have here in IMG. Imagine mo, you just have to pay 5,710 pesos to insure yourself for 1 million peso face amount. Napakababa. Next is benefit number 19. If you want to start your mutual funds, no, kanina yung explain ko yung mutual fund, di ba? You can also have it here as your benefit. Of course, Once you do your mutual fund, we also give a free investment seminars and trainings kung saan matututo tayo kung paano ba natin yan gagawin. And of course, it is also zero entry fee. You don't need to pay for processing fee. You don't need to pay for agent fee. Once na nag-invest ka, automatically kung magkano in-invest mo, yun ang magre-reflect sa yung portfolio. My trade, no? If you want to do the online stocks trading platform, We have also partnered with uh, Palawan Express. Meron po tayo mga non-life insurances kung gusto mong insure yung mga sasakyan, yung bahay, yan. And of course, uh, sa properties din or real estate, no, SMDC, Ayala Land, DMCI. We partnered with this big, one of the biggest companies in the Philippines also pagdating sa mga real estate. Special discount on memorial lots and internment. I'm not saying to use it, no? Kasi nakalocate po yan sa Batangas. But you can use it also as your investment. Okay, if you want to avail a discounts from these special courses, no? Ito yung mga tao kung saan pwede tayong tulungan pagdating sa mga social, uh, social media, online media, email marketing, even for book writing and real estate. Okay, pwede tayong makakuha ng discount and share Uh, their uh, knowledge no? pagdating dun sa mga expertise nila. And meron din tayong Everest, no? yung benefit number 29 natin or memorial services mula sa Everest. Ibig sabihin, if you are an IMG member, if something happened to you, you don't need to worry. Okay? Kasi yung family mo, hindi na mahihirapan sa pag-arrange no uh, memorial services. Kasi we have Everest already. Number 30 na benefit, Asset Preservation Service or APS by IMAX. Protects your assets by creating your own corporation through IMG at the member's exclusive price. Mahal po yan, pero sa IMG, pwede po tayong uh, makakuha ng mababang halaga. And of course, we have auto program. Any model, any brand, no? pag nag-avail ka ng sasakyan dito sa Pilipinas, you can have huge discount. Okay? Benefit number 32, be in the financial industry. Okay, if you want to increase your cash flow, then maximize this benefit as well. Whether you like it or not, once you become a member, 
andyan na po yung benefit na yan. Gagamitin mo na lang or i-maximize mo na lang. So own a business, become a financial educator, own your system, uh, own your time, online system, help families achieve the income you want, and of course to become debt free. Okay, so IMG Business Creating Wealth, there are 12 uh, powerful ways to make money in IMG. So I'll just explain the personal commission or number one, the entrepreneurship program. Okay, business ownership program, income projections. This is for the purpose of example, helping one family uh, a week will result to you to have at least 24,000 pesos na monthly income. 44,000 pesos uh, 44,400 pesos na monthly income okay but if you become a senior marketing director here in IMG you will have at least 56,400 pesos na monthly income or even more diba choosey pa ba tayo mga kapatid diba malaking tulong yan para mabayaran ng mga utang or even kung wala kang utang magamit mo yan sa yung investment at least mas mabibilis mapapabilis yung yung pagsi-save Next is travel the world. You can have conventions, cruises, and vacation. World class recognition. Yan. Kagaya namin, no? Uh, we are actually recognized by helping uh, our kababayan, no? All throughout the world. We have our kababayan na natulungan namin from uh, UAE, uh, in Singapore. In South Korea, in Japan, even in the US, we have in UK, okay, and of course here in the Philippines as well. And of course, hindi naman nasayang yung effort namin. It's because we were also recognized by the company. Masarap sa feeling na alam mo yun nakakatulong ka sa sa kapwa mo Pilipino na magi maayos yung finances nila. And at the same time, na recognize ka rin naman, di ba? Ang sarap sa feeling din niya. And of course, meron din tayong free HMO coverage, no? You just have to qualify yourself, no? Para magkaroon ka ng free HMO coverage. Ayan, no? sayang din naman yan. Lalo na sa mga uh, walang mga HMO dyan, no? So here in IMG, uh, it is possible for you to have it. Powerful members portal, no? Yan. We can do all our transactions with regards IMG dito sa ating portal. Dominate tool, digital marketing platform, newsletters and emails para tayo ay laging updated or even the new rakash. Ayan, di ba? As I teach financial education, of course, we are also well compensated. Diyan po nilalagay yung ating compensation. At meron po tayong tinatawag na mga international member benefits exclusive para sa ating mga international member kung wala kayo sa Pilipinas at kayo ay nasa ibang bansa and you you join and member yourself in IMG meron po kayo mga additional benefits number 40 exclusive money platform yung visa card okay kung saan pwede mong gamitin yan every part of the world no that's that will be automatically uh, change yung uh, currency no kung gagamitin mo siya Exclusive events, no? Exclusive runs and contests. Okay, so meron din tayong Manila Bankers Life, no? Kung ikaw ay nasa ibang bansa, somehow baka risky yung napuntahan mo. May tinatawag tayong worldwide protection. So meron kang accident debt benefit na 500,000 pesos from Manila Bankers. May burial benefit na 100,000 pesos. Accident and medical reimbursement benefit na 100,000 pesos. Acts of terrorism na worth 600,000 pesos. Take note po ha, once you become a member, lalo na kung international coded ka po, kasama po yan mga uh, worldwide protection na yan na benefit. And unprovoked murder and assault na 600,000 pesos. Benefit number 48, accidental dis ablement benefit. Okay, kung ikaw ay nasa, tra, nasa abroad, syempre nagtatrabaho. Syempre kailangan kompleto yung part na katawan, di ba? E paano kung may nawala sa kamay, sa paa? Di ba? Dapat, insured pa rin. Yan, okay? And there's additional feature na repatriation service. 
kung nawala sa abroad ang IMG member, of course, IMG can arrange the repatriation service. Yan. And these are the uh, the recent benefit that they have announced no, for everyone, for every members of the uh, IMG. Yung tinatawag natin na new Kaiser product, Kaiser True Max, a short-term healthcare with riders. And of course, our very own introducing Bolt Assurance. It is an IMG brand. Okay, if you want to have uh, uh, mga non-life insurances for your motor, okay, for your house, no, and more to come. Yan, okay. It is a one-stop shop. Ibig sabihin, ano man ang kailangan mo pagdating sa financial uh, products, nandiyan na lahat yan. Diba? Healthcare, if... Life insurance, investment, real estate, general insurances, and allied financial services. Nandiyan lahat yan. Of course, meron po tayong action steps. No? Hindi naman pwede yan na you enjoy everything pero you are not taking any actions. What are those? Number one, become a lifetime member. Okay, That would be depending on your location. No? If, you, if you are interested to be part of IMG, comment ka lang po sa ating comment section. Okay, and I am more than willing to assist and help you becoming a lifetime member of IMG and at the same time to enjoy those benefits. Okay, and once you become a member, you will become automatic mutual fund investor as well. Okay, so automatic may portfolio ka na sa mutual fund. Number two na action, attend the financial checkup. And number three, start building a solid financial foundation. Ano yung pa yan? 3.1, Kaiser helps you build a solid financial foundation. Diba? Isa to sa pinakamagandang products, no? And of course, we encourage you to have it once you become an IMG member kasi bakit? It, uh, kumbaga, uh, it provides the, the three steps of building a solid financial foundation. Yung healthcare protection, meron na life insurance, meron din yan savings and investment automatically. Okay, 3.2, protect your family by having 50,000 pesos worth of life insurance and the most 18. 3.3, invest in mutual fund. no Zero load forever po yan sa lahat ng members ng IMG. And of course, these are the companies where we can put our investment. So the IMG advantages... Sabi, with this powerful membership benefits, you can build your financial foundation faster. Tama naman, di ba? But of course, you have to take action now. Take note po, no? Hindi po bukas, hindi po sa makalawa, hindi po sa isang taon, or after 10 years, tsaka ka lang take action. Remember that time is our ally. No? Napaka-importante, no? Na kakampi natin ng oras. Always remember that. Pero pwede rin po natin maging kalaban yan. Lalo na kung tayo ay nagpo-procrastinate. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng nagpo-procrastinate, no? Yung tipong pwede mo namang gawin ngayon, sabihin mo, tsaka na lang. Si tsaka-tsaka-tsaka, katsa-tsaka-tsaka mo dyan, hindi mo na nagawa. Tama ba? So, we have to take action now. Okay, hindi po yan bukas or sa makalawa pa. We have to do it now. Control your future. The future is in your hands. If you want to be wealthy, don't let other people do it for you. Of course, you have to do it yourself. Be your own money manager and of course, understand how money works and make money work for you. Okay, so sabi po rito ni Bill Gates, no? If you're born poor, it's not your mistake. Tama? It is not our choice kung saan tayo pinanganak na pamilya. Kung ikaw ay pinanganak sa super rich na family, then that's good, di ba? Pero kung hindi naman ka pinanganak doon sa mga super rich na family, hindi mo naman kasalanan yan. Ang kasalanan mo is, if you die poor pa rin, okay, definitely that is your mistake. Okay? I just like to share with you this, no? it is in Deuteronomy 8.18, ang sabi, God gave us the ability to create wealth. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay? Binigyan tayo ng Lord ng capabilities to create wealth. Hindi niya yung basa, o oh, oh, ikaw ito, ito na yung yaman mo para sa'yo na kagad yan. But of course, we have to work doon sa 
wealth na yon, di ba? Kailangan natin pagtrabawuhan. We have to give effort, di ba? Para makuha natin yung tinatawag na wealth na yan. Okay, so uh, maraming maraming salamat po and I hope that you, I'm sure, you have learned a lot in this uh, presentation, in this orientation na talagang magagamit natin para sa ating financial life, no? In order for us to have a better financial uh, future, hindi lang sa atin sa sarili but of course sa ating pamilya. So let's build our future, build it here in IMG or International Marketing Group. So this is Christopher Salvador once again and I'm proud to be part of IMG. Okay, so kung meron po tayo mga questions and clarifications, no, uh, you can write your comment on this video sa comment sections para masagot ko po kagad yung mga katanungan ninyo. Okay, so thank you so much once again and God bless to everyone.